Hello, welcome back to the garage. It's been a while, about three months. Not a lot's happened. Let me just cover why that is. Oh dear. Oh, fire. You don't need a special tool, you need a special tin. Okay, so here we are in the familiar confines of my garage full of stuff. Um, As you can see, I've, I've got stuff on the workbench, I've got the subframe is still hanging where it was, and the site you don't often see in the videos, I've got that the bikes are in here, there is a Christmas sled over the back there, I've got the gardening stuff, there's a scoot that I've had to fix. Yeah, so there's, there's a lot of stuff kind of just in the way, and the weather being what it has, uh, in the last few months. I haven't really had much many opportunities to get all of this stuff out to then carry on. Plus, um, due to a, a small holiday to, to this, this, this warm part of the world where there's, there happens to be like a little a Disney castle thing going on, um, that took a lot of time and budget. And um, yeah, when we came back, it was freezing cold, raining, and there's been storms ever since the end of half term. So... Uh, yeah, when there has been a time to get out here and work, I'll be honest, I haven't had the time. There's been Christmas presents stored in here. There's been a massive trampoline, a massive chair. So, uh, yeah, literally put hold on things um, for the uh, this part of the year. But now this is the this is the Saturday before New Year's. Um, so Saturday the 29th, 30th, somewhere around there. Tomorrow is the 30th. It's the 30th today. Um, it's that bit, it's that blurs day bit in between Christmas and New Year's. So yeah, New Year's Eve tomorrow. I thought I would try and get something done today. So I've come into the garage, I've tidied some mess up, and I've turned the heater on. I'm trying to warm this up just a little bit. Um, I have been previously warned by a couple of people that the primer I put on here, if you let it completely dry for too long, uh, paint won't take to it so well. So I've got to get a little bit of maybe some 400 grit on here, rough this up and then I can get the primer on, then I can get the colour on. So, if there's any luck, I'll do that today. I know I said I, I might get some time in the next coming weeks when I did my last video three months ago, but um, yeah, life, life just gets in the way, doesn't it? So anyway, let's get cracking. Now that that's all stashed away and I've moved some stuff around, let's get on with the uh, the job at hand. Let's get that rubbed down and get some high build primer on it. Okay, that is as prepped as I'm going to do because the subframe is going to be underneath the panel work, the engine is going to be on top. If the car's upside down and you're looking at my paintwork, something else went horribly, horribly wrong. Um, so I'm, I'm not too concerned about that. It's It's been roughed up all over. Um, I'm getting bored, my arm's getting tired. As long as it's all one colour when it's finished and it looks sort of clean and shiny, I'm going to be happy. Uh, this, is, this is not a show car, everything's perfect and struck. I'll be afraid to drive it. And that's basically what I do is get out and drive the car. Anyway, um, a few people mentioned um, about using the high build primer and I'm just gonna mention why I'm doing that is supposedly this paint is very good at sealing off its height. This primer is the Isopon Zinc 182. 
So it is a rust inhibiting primer. It does say that you can give a smooth base for durable paint and you can paint straight onto it. But I've got a few people who used to work in bodywork and they sort of said to me, yeah, you can, but the paint doesn't stick to it too well. You want, because um, it's zinc based, um, rattle can paint, which is what I'm using, ain't gonna stick great. So what you wanna do is put on something like a, um, a primer first, a normal primer after this, because the normal primer will bite into that and then the paint can bite into the primer. I haven't got any, any normal primer. I've got some high build primer. So again, a friend who used to be in bodywork said, yeah, that'd be fine, use that. So that's what I'm using. Again, not going for a shiny, shiny finish. So we'll see how it goes, but I'll mask up, get the first coat on, and see how it goes. They say the heat is still going and everything is reasonably warm to the touch. Maybe a little cold in this back corner here, but there's only so much I can do with angling this fan. Um, and I want to turn that off in a second, because, uh, yeah, um, I don't really want to be blowing hot air at it while I'm painting it. I'm going to turn it off and then I'll turn it back on once I'm done. We'll see how that rolls. Wish me luck. That's done. It's all empty. I'll uh, turn the heat back on. It's a good idea, isn't it? Let that cook for a bit. Then I'm going to go and stand outside and breathe some fresh air because woohoo! That is, even with, even with this one, that is strong stuff. Whew. Okay, I haven't filmed all of it, but that is four coats done, as you can see here. It is now a bluey grey as opposed to a yellowy grey. So I've got the heat back on it. I'll see. You can see there. Um, just letting it cook for a uh, couple of hours. But it all looks very nice. It's actually covered up nicely the uh, the runs that were here and all the rest of it. And there's no major runs anywhere on it. It's a lovely paint to paint with, actually. It goes on really nice. It dries quick. Um, so yeah, four coats done, leave that to dry now for sort of two or three hours. So I'm gonna pause filming there and um, then I'll come back later on this evening and get some black paint on it. Yeah, spoiler, it's gonna be black because that's the color subframe should be. Unless you're gonna go for some weird funky color coding, that's what I'm doing. Okay, that was half past three. This is nine o'clock. I'm still outside. Well, I've come back outside. It's now dark outside. It's also ugh, hissing with rain. The bikes are soaking wet, so that's going to be a fun job to sort out. Um, yeah, I'm going to rub it over with a 400 grit, give it a wipe over, and then it's time for some black paint. Okay, my hand has got cramp. It's an unpleasant sensation. I don't like body work. It's never been high on my list of jobs to do. Um, hence why I tend to have tatty cars that just just do what they need to do. Um, but I have rubbed everything over. It's uh, good enough for me. It's all been scratched up. Front, back, inside, outside, upside down. It's, uh, it's all done, so now it's time to uh, paint it black.
Okay. I'm gonna go and stand at the other end of the garage and catch some fresh air. But uh, before I go, I thought I'd show you this because it actually looks really, really good. A lovely, lovely shiny black paint. Oh yes. I'm uh, sitting here with my hardcore zero caffeine fruit tea. Um, just thought I would uh, say thank you if you've um, reached out over social media um, or on here, dropped me a message and just said, look, hope everything's all right. You've been really quiet for a while. It's, um, yeah, I know it's been three months and I, so I had you know, a fair number of people just message me and say, I've not seen any progress on your mini lately. Everything all right. And it's nice to know that people are sort of, even complete strangers are just sort of looking out for you, making sure everything's good. As it was, I was fine. Life had kind of got in the way of the car, but you know, it's, yeah, it's heartwarming to know that there's people out there who will, you know, think, oh, not seen, seen or heard anything from this person for a while. Better make sure they're all right. Keep up with that. That's a really good thing to have. It's really nice to be on the receiving end of it. So uh, yeah, thank you. Um, while I'm here, I thought I'd say Happy New Year to you all. Um, and so I'm just standing here waiting for the uh, painter. I'm literally washing paint dry whilst having a cup of tea. Um, so yeah, Happy New Year. And hopefully 2024 will be the year where this car gets finished. Um, although I did say that at the beginning of 2023. So uh, yeah, I ain't holding out promises yet. Fingers crossed, that's what we'll do. Right, onwards to the next bit. Okay, so as you can now see, that is what I say here. Probably can't see any different. That is two coats on, the heater is back on, and it is drying, and it has gone on absolutely beautiful. All across the top there, yeah. All under here, I've got as much in there as I could, which I think is all of it. These bits behind here, it's all looking lovely and shiny and black. The correct colour for a subframe. Look at that. Really, really happy with how that's gone. Okay, gonna leave it there. Um, I'm gonna be out here for a little while, wait for that to dry off. Um, I'll probably trip over this this loose bit of broken garage floor. I'll probably bro trip over that a few more times. Um, but yeah, really happy with how that's gone for a rattle campaign job. But I'd be really happy with that if that was a flipping spray gun or if I'd have got it back like that from a uh, proper painters. So uh, yeah, um, hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you for following the journey. And um, in the next one, with any luck, I'll be building up all the suspension components onto that because they are all on the bench at the moment. So they're all gonna have to be painted as well. And then I have to have new, new bearings, redo the ball joints, rebuild it all, new seals in the calipers, the whole shebang. So I've got to save up some pennies and that'll be the next video I do. So I'll uh, see you all in the new year. Um, and thanks for watching.